I graduated drug court Friday. I hugged my daughter for the first time in six years. Some women in East Tennessee are working hard to break the cycle of addiction and abuse and reclaim their lives. Today, the Hand Up for Women organization gave a makeover to 11 of those women. To news reporter Krista Lucas explains what this transformation means to them. Hey, Krista. Yes, Katie, today is a big day for these women. The makeover is a milestone for them, and many say it was their goal. Lynn Wiley struggled with addiction for nearly 20 years. I had lost everything, my kids, my home. She says she really wanted out. So she got into a recovery program for the last couple of years. It takes a lot of strength. Today, Wiley is one of the women who's getting a makeover. The Hand Up for Women is a nonprofit organization in East Tennessee that helps women battling with addiction, abuse, and despair. To me, this is... It's really just a blessing, like, who I wanted to be for so long and struggled to come back to. The organization has a class that helps women from different backgrounds. The instructor says in their first class they learn how to overcome fear. The last class is about how to be a strong woman. One of the things that is really hard for these ladies to overcome and that I have to help them with is learning that it's okay to be feminine. The instructor takes them for shopping and helps them choose an outfit. Hair and makeup volunteers help them with the transformation. Coming through a difficult time, some of them jail time, being feminine can be seen as being a very weak link in the chain of life. This is why today's makeover is a big deal. I feel absolutely amazing. I've never had nothing like this happen to me before. But right now, like, as I look in the mirror, I don't even know who it is I'm looking at. I feel spoiled, pampered. <laughs> Wiley says she wants to go back to school and study social studies. A couple of women I spoke to also plan to give back when they complete the program, and they want to help others overcome their struggles. Katie, back to you.